Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day and I have a massive. And when I say massive, it's capital M-A-S-S-I-V-E. It is $600 massive. I was pretty much out of just about everything. So I had to do a massive stock up on meat, fruit, vegetables, pantry staples, and made my monthly trip to Costco, which resulted in almost a $400 bill. And not to mention Thanksgiving on top of that. So this is a huge haul. I actually went to four stores. I did Target, Walmart Grocery Pickup, Costco, and Natural Grocers, which is kind of like our Sprouts or Whole Foods because we don't have either of those stores here. So it's massive. So we have a lot to jump into. So before we get started on today's video, if you are excited about this massive haul, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really helps out my channel. Also, if you're not yet subscribed and you watch my videos or you're new, please take a moment and subscribe. Help me get closer to reaching 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That was my goal moving into 2020 and I'm close. I'm just over 500 subscribers away. So help me out and make sure that you're subscribed. Check out that description box for my nutrition coaching website. I offer everything from personalized macros and calories, which I highly recommend that you have me figure for you. It's really important to kind of know where you should fall. 30 minute and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions. There's a little bit of something for everyone, so check it out. Also, you'll find links, discount codes to my favorite things. And last but not least, the link to head over and join us on Facebook. Lots and lots of fun things coming your way to finish out this year and moving into 2021. So head on over and join us there as well. So let's jump into this massive $600 whew, grocery haul. All right, part one of two of this massive haul. I barely fit everything on my island and I still have all of the non-food items, which you definitely wanna stay tuned for that to share with you guys. So in advance, I apologize for any background noise. We have a bathroom remodel going on. So you'll hear drilling and pounding like that. So I apologize in advance for that. So let's jump in because this is only part one of this huge grocery haul. So at Costco, I picked up this huge bag of Parmesan cheese. This was $9.99 and we go through so much Parmesan and it's pricey. You can pay $5 for one of these small little plastic containers. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It lasts forever. It has several, several month expiration date and you couldn't beat it for $9.99. Also at Costco, I picked up the Adele's Chicken Meatballs Teriyaki and Pineapple. These are actually on coupon for about $10. You can have four meatballs for 140 calories, so it's really, really good. No artificial ingredients, no nitrates, nitrites, and they're pork free. And anything Adele's is really good quality. So I had to go ahead and pick those up. That just happened. That's how full this kitchen island is. I did a major stock up of kombucha. It was actually on sale for $2.99 at Target and $2.50 at Natural Grocers. So I stocked up. I did pick up my favorite, the Gingerberry, the 25th edition of the Sacred Life. I grabbed one of those. Lots of flavors. I have the Pink Lady Apple, which is really good. The Guava Goddess. And then a couple of the Fall Edition, which you guys know that I love. And then I also picked up a passion berry bliss and I think that's it. Yep. Another ginger berry. So two, four, six, eight bottles of kombucha. That's enough for the week plus an extra. And then I needed some reduced fat cream cheese for a dinner recipe. I freeze whatever I don't use so that it doesn't go bad and it works really, really well to go ahead and freeze the leftovers. And then this was on the target circle, the two good vanilla yogurt. So I picked up a four pack because I'm almost out of yogurt and I've been liking having this as a good high protein snack up on my meat because meat prices number one are going crazy and number two it's hard to find meat with another shutdown here in my state so I went ahead and stocked up I'm completely out of hamburger in my freezer so I definitely needed that and then I found some really good deals on chicken and ground turkey so I did grab at Walmart two one pound packages of 96% extra lean ground beef and then I picked up three three packs of the 93.7 grass-fed grass finished you guys this is the best hamburger ever and you get three pounds for about 18 dollars and i picked up two 
three packs, so six pounds total. And then some 99% ground turkey, also from Walmart. And then a killer deal at Target for chicken. These are chicken tenderloins, $6.50 a pack, $3 off, makes them $3.50 a pack. I grabbed both packs that they had. And again, I'll just pop these into my freezer. At Trader Joe's, I found this tomato basil marinara that's organic and we are out of spaghetti sauce. I have not had time to make the skinniest dish. So I picked this up because I think we may actually have spaghetti for dinner tonight. And this is really good if you have a Trader Joe's in your area. And then I went ahead and grabbed another box of the Clio minis. I like to have these. Sometimes I don't wanna spend a lot of calories or points on a dessert. So this actually hits the spot and gives me four grams of protein, which is awesome. And then at Costco on Coupon, they had their whole milk Greek yogurt Chobani. This was $2.99 for this. And you guys know I prefer full fat dairy. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I can always mix in granola or maple syrup or sugar alternative or fresh fruit to kind of give it a more fruity yogurt. And like I mentioned, I was out of yogurt and I could not pass up $2.99 for this huge container. I needed to restock my black pepper. I am out of my refill. And then this is a new find for me at Target. And I actually saw this same brand at Natural Grocers. This is the Mother Raw Ranch, a plant-powered dressing and marinade. Now it's 100 calories for two tablespoons, but these ingredients are absolute perfect perfection for a salad dressing and I picked up a bag of lettuce last week that I haven't eaten so I think for lunch today I'm going to do a salad and I've been making my gen salad dressing with the balsamic vinegar but I just wanted something quick and easy we're also having some friends over on a Saturday night for a pizza night for our birthdays and we'll have salad so I'm excited to try this let me know down in the comments if you've tried the mother's raw products I saw that they had dips dressings they had quite a few different things and i don't know if it's new to the market or if it's new to me a loaf of buttermilk bread for troy sandwiches he's doing blts this week so you'll see all the bacon that i picked up for that and I did decide to grab another container of the mini peppermint meringues from Trader Joe's. I still have a full one, but I don't wanna run out. I don't want them to sell out because I absolutely positively love these. They're a very low point, low calorie, sweet treat, and they only come around once a year. So I picked up another container. And then Zip Fizz for Troy, he takes this in his lunch. If you guys aren't familiar with Zip Fizz, it's a really good all natural energy source. This pack from Costco has grape, fruit punch, and orange, and it's really good. It's all natural B12 energy that lasts four to six hours. You just dump it into a bottle of water and drink it. It tastes good, and I'm telling you, it does definitely make a difference. It's a great dupe for energy drinks. Another box of Little Bites for Troy's lunches. He's out, and again, best price at Walmart, $4.98 for 10 pouches. Another refill of the Chobani coffee creamer in caramel. This is one of my very favorites. Now I heard that Chobani actually put out a seasonal flavor, a peppermint one, but I can't find it anywhere. So I grabbed the caramel because like I said, I do really like that one. I needed a can of cream of chicken soup. This is for a dinner recipe this next week. This specific one is really, really good. At Natural Grocers, I saw this Reos Italian wedding soup and I grabbed it because I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. You can have a serving for 160 calories or the whole jar for 290. Of course, points are on the screen. This was a little under $5, which is a little bit pricey for soup, but I wanted to try it because Reos just makes really good high quality product. And then I went to Costco they have a three pack of the same soup for eight dollars so that is a killer killer deal so if you are interested in trying this soup and you have a Costco near you pick it up there because you can't beat eight dollars for three of them so now I have four so hopefully it's really good because I have Rayo soup coming out my ears I also added four full-size Clio bars to my cart as well and since I got the lemon minis I went ahead and selected the strawberry for the full-size bars just again so that I have some full-size ones on hand sometimes I have points and calories for the larger bar so I just wanted to make sure that I had some. I also needed a small thing of sour cream for Thanksgiving. I actually add sour cream to my mashed potatoes. And then at Natural Grocers, and the main reason that I go there, as you know, is for my Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese. So I went ahead and picked up three containers. That way that'll last me a while. This is a great source of protein. It's nice and filling. It's really good for you. And if you haven't tried Good Culture, 
What are you waiting for? Because it is the best. So I have three of those that should last me until my next natural grocer's trip. Restock of the Kid Fresh Nuggets. I'm completely out and I love these. These make a really quick, easy lunch. They make a great topper for a salad. These are my favorite. These taste better to me than any other nuggets. They have good ingredients. They have a little bit of added extra veggies to them and a whole grain coating. They're really, really good. So highly recommend the Kid Fresh Nuggets. I needed whole milk for two recipes. So I picked up a quart. That should be enough for the the two recipes. These are for Troy's lunch. He really likes these pure layered fruit bars. Now, if I eat these, I do not count them as points. It's dried fruit. There's no added sugar and I don't count points for dried fruit, but these do, I think have two or three points technically, but these are really good. And they added a new flavor of raspberry lemonade. Normally you just received the pineapple passion fruit and the strawberry banana, but now there's a third one. So I know that he'll be excited about that. A restock of Trader Joe's light shredded Mexican blend because Hashtag, we always have this on hand. Frozen shredded potatoes. This is for a recipe this next week. I went ahead and ordered the Hawaiian sweet rolls. They substituted with these sweet buttery rolls, which are probably the same thing. This is for breakfast meal prep. You guys definitely want to stay tuned for the end of the video for my meal plan and meal prep and definitely want to check out Monday's meal prep video. It's going to be awesome. So I needed these rolls for that. This was a substitution as well. I actually ordered my favorite happy eggs and they were out. So they substituted with these organic eggs. These are not as good, but I just accepted the substitution because I didn't want to hit up another store. I had all this in my car, so I wanted to make sure I got home before it got cold. So I went ahead and just accepted these eggs. I need these for baking as well, so it actually will work itself out. At Costco, a restock of the Chosen Foods avocado spray, and I almost passed this up because they changed the packaging from the old avocado spray, but this is a killer deal. It's $11 for two 13 and a half ounce containers, which is such a good price. You can pay $5 for the tiny little container at the grocery store, so I always stock up on this from Costco. Four sweet treat Yasso coffee chocolate chip bars. I love these. These are good and they do pack a little bit of protein, which is always a win in a sweet treat. And then I went ahead and picked up some reduced sugar Swiss Miss. I have a couple of closings for real estate. They have children and I bought them those little stir spoons from Trader Joe's. If I can find a picture, I'll pop it in here. So I want to include a pack of hot chocolate and I thought might as well get the reduced calorie and then I can enjoy whatever is left over as well. And then, like I said, a lot of bacon, three packages of the fully cooked bacon for Troy's BLTs. He said, add lots of bacon. Otherwise, it just doesn't keep him full. So I figured I could add about 10 slices per sandwich, which will be absolutely perfect. At Natural Grocers, there was a coupon on CFK, and you know I love these. These are the lime flavored grain-free tortilla chips. These were $3.99 with the discount, so I thought we could have chips and salsa one night. This is my turkey for Thanksgiving. This is a ready to roast whole turkey. This is awesome. It was $19.99 at Target. It comes with the roasting bag and it also comes with gravy packets. So it just makes Thanksgiving super easy. It says cook in a bag, no thaw. So you literally just throw it in your oven frozen right out of the bag. So I had to pick that up. Again, make your Thanksgiving a little bit easier when it comes to the turkey. Two bags of potatoes. One is yellow potatoes for Thanksgiving. And then a bag, oh, here we go. Yellow potatoes for Thanksgiving. This is red potatoes for a dinner recipe for this next week. From Costco, a restock of the big bottle of avocado oil. Again, I always pick this up once a month and that way I never run out. This is the best price at Costco, like seriously the best price. A couple of fun beers for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So this is the Rogue 2020 Santa Private Reserve Peppermint Bark Milk Stout Beer. How fun is that? So I'm gonna save this for Christmas. My mom was with me at Costco and her and I are gonna dive into this on Christmas. And then because I didn't get to go to Leavenworth this year for our anniversary and our birthday, this is the beer that I am obsessed with that I get every year at Leavenworth. This is the Dark Persuasion Beer from Icicle Brewery Company. This is German chocolate cake beer and it literally tastes like German chocolate cake. It's incredible. So I picked this up. Mom and I are gonna share it on Thanksgiving. If you can find this, highly, highly, highly recommend. It's incredible. Restock of maple syrup. You can't pass $9.99 for this huge thing of maple syrup, an entire liter for $9.99 at Costco. And then I needed some broth. I actually only needed a can of veggie broth, but they didn't have any in organic. So I just picked up the box. I will definitely use it up. 
and then a box of organic beef broth as well. At Costco, I had to get the Snack Factory white chocolate and peppermint. These are so good, you guys. Like, I'm not kidding. These are dangerously good. So I'm actually going to weigh and measure them out, put them in baggies so I don't overeat them, but they are well worth the points. They are so, so good. And again, they're seasonal, so pick them up if you can find them. Troy's Circus Animal Cookies for his lunch. This was a substitution. I actually paid for a 12-pack, and they substituted a 20-pack because they were out of the 12 pack. So that was a bit of a win for me. And then a big box of the Welch's fruit snacks. That's another thing that Troy puts in his lunch every day. These are currently on coupon at Costco for $7.99 for 90 pouches. So that's a great deal. I bought this last year for Christmas, so I went ahead and bought it again this year. This is the organic cracker assortment from Trader Joe's. This is only $3.99, and these crackers are so perfect for the holidays. We like to do meat and cheese and crackers, so I'm just going to throw this in storage until Christmas. There was only about five boxes left at Trader Joe's, so if you see these, grab them. I think that they will be gone before Christmas actually rolls around this year. And then from Costco, a refill of the uncured Lanyager sausages. These are individually wrapped. They're like pepperoni sticks. Troy really likes having these in his lunch, so I did a repurchase of those. Now, everything else I have is produce and is zero points. So I have a box of frozen spinach. This is actually for a recipe. A big bag of Granny Smith apples. This is for meal prep. Again, you're not going to want to miss meal prep. Sweet onions from Trader Joe's. These are my favorite organic onions. They're so, so good. And then one tomato for Troy's BLTs. I have a tomato left in the fridge a bag of whole carrots for a recipe and then down under my potatoes is actually two bags of baby spinach both of these are also for a recipe so that is everything that I picked up for food holy moly we still have the non-food items to go so that's coming up next Part two of this massive haul is all of the non-food items. I also picked up a case of Diet Coke and beer and water from Costco. I just didn't show those to you. So let's jump into the second part of the haul. On my Walmart pickup, I added toilet paper because I wasn't sure if Costco would have any and we are almost out. So I'm definitely stocked up now because Walmart had it and so did Costco. So that's what I ordered from Walmart. I did pick up the big pack from Costco as well as a big pack of paper towels. We also needed some mouthwash and this was on sale for $7.99 for three, which is a really, really good price. A restock on our heartburn medicine. We always pick this up at Costco. Usually I buy two, but I have enough to make it a month with only buying one. So that's why I only picked up one this time. At Target, I grabbed my sleep vitamins. These are some of my favorites, the Hims and Hers Rest Sleep. These are those kind of sugary bears. These are really good, they work really well, and they're super affordable, so I have those. And then for the dogs at Trader Joe's, because I can't go to Trader Joe's without thinking of my dogs, I grabbed the salmon and sweet potato dog treats. And then at Target, all of their pet holiday things were 20% off. And these whimsies are great because they're all natural. There's no grain, there's no chicken. And how cute, it's little Christmas trees and snowmen. So I'm gonna divide these between the two dogs for their stockings. Paper plates because don't wanna do dishes. I did pick up some new cookie cutters this year. These are all a dollar at Target. So I did a sand, a stocking, a Christmas tree, a star, a holiday ornament, which is super cute a snowflake, the Santa Claus, a gingerbread man, and a reindeer. So it was $8 for a whole new set of cookie cutters, which is not bad. And these are nice metal with the rubberized top, so it's comfortable for you to cut the dough. A hook for the back of the spare bathroom that we're using during our bathroom remodel because we have not a single hook in there to hang our towels on. So this just slides right over the door. One for me, one for Troy, so it's perfect. This was $7.99 at Target. I also grabbed a container of disinfecting wipes. They were limit one, but I wanted to grab them. Good thing I did because they had zero at Costco. Dishwasher detergent, this is my favorite. Uh, because we're on septic, we can't actually use the kind that have the granules or the powder. So this is the liquid type is what we have to use. And this one is less than $10. And this lasts me several months. So I picked that up. I did find a couple cute clothing things. So this is some workout pants. These are from Costco, $12.99. They're buttery soft. Oh my goodness. And they have pockets, which is great. And then this super cute camo 
really oversized, really soft sweatshirt was also only $12.99. And I thought this would be really cute with boots and leggings. My favorite makeup remover wipes from Costco. I'm out completely. That's why last week I picked up the Neutrogena ones. So I stocked up. And then I couldn't pass up the cedar and balsam holiday scented candle from Trader Joe's because I love anything pine scented. So I grabbed that. And then this is really fun. This is called the Rock Plus. And I this is at, at Costco currently on sale. It's a reversible grill and griddle. So one side is ribbed for grilled chicken and veggies. And the other side is flat for eggs, pancakes, bacon. So this was awesome if you want to grill chicken indoors during the winter. It was $16.99 on sale. And if you remember last year, I did the 12 Days of Beauty from Trader Joe's. Of course, I had to do it again. She said that there are new items in this year's 12 Days of Beauty. So that is super exciting. I have several advent calendars. I think I have three and the dogs even have one. So we are going to be adventing, calendaring it up for December, which is so exciting. And then I needed to restock my trash bags for the kitchen. And then they actually had the spray Lysol, which I haven't been able to find anywhere at Costco. And this four pack was only $16.99. So that is everything for all of the non food items. So now let's get into what I'm doing for my meal plan and my meal prep. So let's jump into this week's meal plan. Saturday is pizza night. We're actually celebrating our anniversary and birthday with some friends. And we're gonna do pizza and probably dessert and beer. It's gonna be a great night and a great celebration since we didn't get to go to Leavenworth, Washington this year. So that is Saturday. Sunday, I'm doing a Parmesan spinach mushroom pasta skillet. So stay tuned for this recipe in my What I Eat in a Day next Wednesday. You'll see this recipe and it sounds so good. Monday is Guinness beef stew. So using a bottle of Guinness beer, it makes an incredible beef stew. So hopefully I'll be able to share this recipe with you guys as well. Tuesday's leftovers, even though I can't do jazzercise in studio, I'm still doing the night class at home. Wednesday is instant pot garlic parmesan, chicken and rice. This sounds so good. Who doesn't love garlic and parmesans and rice? Hello. So that sounds amazing. Thursday is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving in advance, my friends. And then Friday, of course, is a leftover night because hashtag Thanksgiving. So let's jump into what I am doing for my meal prep that you guys will see in Monday's video. Here's this week's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making a savory breakfast bunt cake. Doesn't that sound amazing? It's not cake, it's savory. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's a whole different recipe than I've ever made before. So I'm excited for that on Monday. And then lunch, I'm doing ranch chicken poppers. So these are little bite-sized ranch chicken bites. Yeah, ranch chicken bites. So I'm excited for that. I'll probably pair that with a veg. And then for a snack, tis the season of fall and Thanksgiving, I'm making an apple crumble bar. And these are decadent, but wait until you hear the points and calories. You're definitely not going to wanna to miss meal prep where I'll show all three of these videos that will be up on Monday. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I'm pooped, you guys. That was a lot of shopping, a lot of filming, putting away. Whew, it was a big one. So I am stocked up now for a month or longer for Costco and I am ready to go for Thanksgiving as well as my meal plan and meal prep for this next week, which I hope you're as excited as I am about that meal prep. Make sure you check that video out on Monday. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Again, help me reach that 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year and check out that description box for my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. Happy Saturday, my beautiful friends. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you in my next video.